We start OBS. <laughs> uh, we're back live. Um, we should be good to go. I just gotta reconnect everything and then turn on Twitch. Uh, <sighs> I don't know what's up with it. It's been doing it a lot. froze after the misty fight it was actually like a perfect way to make the final part so just make sure i mute it so i don't do that again and yeah, we should be good so yeah thanks everybody for your patience um obs hit me with that uh <laughs> obs hit me with that change up but we're good we're back that Snorlax and then go be Rock. I gotta get the radio. I never did that. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Well, before I do that, uh, yeah, I gotta go do some stuff. Give me a sec. I never got the radio, did I? Let me get the magnet pass. some behind the scenes stuff on camera real quick. Think this is the call? Give me a sec. Yeah. Oh wait, it's D eight. Then I got the positive key on. Just give me one second. Cause it won't register even though I have it. So I have to go to a PC, deposit it. Um we should be good. How did I not get the radio? Should be in key items. Yeah. Let's go do that, then we can wake up Snorlax. Oh my, I could have sworn I got the radio early. I guess I definitely forgot. Cause sometimes I'll do that during playthroughs. I'm like, oh, I'll go back and get it later. Or it's not that big of a deal. It is that big of a deal I need. It. Sweet, all right, that worked. Yeah, I found out, if that ever happens to Peach, I found out how to unlock it. Don't tell me to stop. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? Cool. 
cool dice. Let's go get that, uh, get the big one. That's how you gotta wake him up. You play a boombox or some banging music. He's like, play it on J. Cole. <laughs> oh, that's a female song. Nice. Also, we gotta talk about what they did with Radiant Forest. Like, I was like, what? <laughs> like, it's super short. Um, but again, cartridge limitations, that's all I understand. So let's go fight Brock. Um, before we even fight Blaine, we gotta do the rival fight. We will fight Blaine, we'll fight Blue. And I think we'll be able to wrap that up, which would be good. Blasters basically just gonna sweep. Um, I am gonna need Anthe against Omastar because it's part water for some reason. Yeah, that's gonna be important.
quick. This brings me back to old times, Brock. Old times, my friend. Not wrong, dude. Absolutely not wrong. I do like Brock's, uh, <laughs> Brock's Sprite. I mix my words up <laughs> in this, unless he has a new name in Gonzo. Let's go. Two tops. I'm shocking to make that till sandwich, but I guess I can make sense to all that. We got it, we beat him. Your Pokemon is powerful attacks overcame our hard defense. Stronger than I expected. Go ahead and take this back. literally fly back to Pewter and then we'll fight Blaine, we'll fight Blue, and we'll fight Red. So the final three battles are pretty much like ready. Um, I hope this guy gives me the weight.
Alright, here we start off with um, robots, so we'll put on Anthony. And a lot of gold. If I lost to you, I thought I about what I was lacking in my Pokemon. We came up with an answer. Gold will now show you. Alright, so we get the face turn silver, the full face turn. And a cool sprite, I like that. And a team of six, respectable. But as you can see, there's a big level difference between the uh, this, this isn't gonna end well for me, but I do appreciate the dedication here. I, I, I respect it wholeheartedly. Oh, Alligator, the homie. I was actually going to use for alligator on my dream team. But, I figured it'd be cool to use a contest out there and say, the last one and stuff. And, like, I don't mind Shiny Tilt at all, like, I like it, but Shiny Spirit is. I don't like that. They got a gang of all here, Vault the Halter, okay. Alright, I see you. Episode near that least before our final battle ends. Just going back. Well, I thought he was going to start off with uh, the answer. I just need it. Um, I'm just going to punch it. And let's go get our last two badges at this point. GG, Silver. GG's. I kind of like that development. Um, you know, this kind of brings me back to why I really love not only Gen 2, but the older versions of the game when it came to rivals. Because, like, Silver had so much personality. Like, he started off as this Edgelord jerk that, like, shoves you, stole a Pokemon, and didn't really care about, like, the evil team that's trying to stop everything from happening. And he ended up, like, getting some really cool character development. And he's like, hey, you know what? Maybe I could learn from, like, being a better trainer and a better person. Maybe, maybe I can grow for this, too. And I, I kind of like that. Like, I really like that a lot, personally. I don't leave Max Bones as we do. So, like, yeah. And, like, I don't know. He just had some cool character that, like, the older rivals just had. I wish the new rivals did, too. Damn it. I'm not there for it. That's all right. We'll, we'll fight this person. All right. All right, y'all, we're about to get ready to fight Blaine and Blue real quick. So those will be two quick back-to-back -back battles. Um, and then last but not least, y'all know who's got to fight at the end. The man himself, the man, the myth, the legend, man. Which uh, will go better than my Pokemon Gold fight where I was super underleveled. That was, like, kind of stressful. Because this Snorlax is a demon. I had to wait for it to struggle. Everything else on the team, not a problem. That was probably one of the toughest fights I've ever had. Um, it kind of reminded me back in the day when I played this before Sheets. What a free.
That was my, I thought it was Wade the ball catch. I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Song's a banger. What is this? Trainers on Route 1? Says when? Oh, here's Palatine. It's Bill's house. There you go, Daisy. Hi, my kid brother is the gym leader of Viridian City. Uh, but he goes to town so quite often because of work out with trainers. Yeah, tell that slumlord to go back to his gym so we can fight. I'm tired of him. Anyway, it's Red's mom. Hi. Red's been away for a long time. He isn't called either, so I have no idea where he is or what he's been doing. They say no word is proof that he's doing fine, but I worry about him. What a horrible son! Like, call your mom. She got you an N64, by the way. Like, yeah, I, I kind of am bummed out he didn't, like, call his mom to be like, yeah, I'm alive. That's messed up. Anyway, let's go visit Professor Oak. And vibe out to Power Town theme. The remix of this is so heavenly. Like, Power Town already sounds great, but the remixes they did with Gen 2, which is awesome. Got a gift for me. Yeah, I don't know if... I don't know if facing your mentee is a gift, but okay. Sure, I will definitely face the hardest trainer in the game once I beat the last year. Because I'm gonna, uh, you know, beat your grandson real quick. Alright, first things first, I'm gonna get to the match. I should buy some more. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need them when we get the mouse over. Um, okay. Alright, let's, let's ride. I was only champion for a short time. Yeah, five minutes, buddy. I remember that. That was uh, my last Pokemon play that you want to be. Yeah, and then this is what happened to Cinnabar. A volcano just erupted and it was like gone. This is blue. Alright, well, I know where we're going. Yeah, he's just right there. Like, you're not gonna, like, surf that far. He's just straight up right there. If you look, there he is. What is it? Shades, looking cool. I better have burn. I better have burn. I better have burn.
That's rapid ash, okay. So, yeah, the thing about these last fights, especially even if you're not level 100, if you have a decent team, they're pretty. Um, but, I mean, which just makes sense. You're already a champion of the league. Um, I would like them to be a little tougher when I play it, but it wasn't a big deal. You just kind of, like, get your console really fast. Badge. 15 out of 16 badges done within the two hour mark. I know it says 30, like 27 minutes, but that's because uh, of the So, uh, yeah, we're going for about two hours. Alright, dope. Um, let's do that last gym battle. So, Blue was like, hey! If you beat Blaine, come chat with me. Once you get the 15 badge. We did that. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna heal. And the cool thing about Blue is he doesn't have any trainers in his gym just like Blaine, so he can fight him straight up. Then we gotta talk to Oak and then we get ready for the king of the mountain himself. Uh, I just gotta go buy some repels once we beat Blue. Um, we don't need any potions, we don't need to stock up anything. The only things we need are fly and strength, so. Once I get the Mount Silver, we'll just bring uh, Dragonite with me, and we'll be all set. So, let's go get our last badge of content, shall we? And for you take the lead, but we're pretty much going to need everybody for this fight. Because Blue tends to be a variety, like, gym leader. He doesn't really have a specific type. He's literally just a trainer with a gym badge. You don't need it. I don't know about that, buddy. His uh, Lego blocks. I want this gym in real life. Anyway, yo, champion of making, how's it going? Looks like you're on a roll. The gym leader is the guy who battled a champion two years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything you got. Man, Red beat him in five minutes. I'm good. What up, man? Yo, you finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood to set a bar, but now I'm ready to battle you. <clears throat> you're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Jota? <laughs> Jota gym must be pretty pathetic then. Thank you. Uh, hey, don't worry about it. Uh, I'll know if you're good or not by battling you right now. You ready, Jodo Champ? I was born ready, Blue. Let's do this. Blue Oak his damn self. Starts off with that Demon Pidgeot at 57. Not bad, I respect it. I'm not even gonna switch out. I'm good. Blastoise, I'm gonna let Blastoise handle this. I'm leaving him. He's ready for prime time. Look at his face. The face of a champion right there. I'm leaving him.
Oh, you want me with a full store blue, really? Yeah. Alright, that's fair. Peace out, Arcanine. Blue, I'm gonna need you to give me my badge, so. We did it. What? How the heck did I lose to you? <laughs> Alright, yeah, take that with that. I like how he does that. He's like, yeah, no, right, congratulations. Just, alright, how did I lose to you? Take the badge, kid. I'm lost. Alright, I was wrong. You're the real deal. There we go. That's better. You're a good trainer. But I'm gonna beat you someday, don't forget it. Listen, you. You better not lose until I beat you again, got it? Yep. Okay. Right, I'll take that as a threatening compliment. Wait, too nice. Don't get emotional on me, Bill. Alright. Everybody, it's time to get hyped. It's time to get excited because there's only one more battle to really do before we beat this game. And that battle is my absolute favorite battle of any Pokemon game. It is the toughest battle you can get. Is that another battle? Screw it, we'll be fine. We run into some Pokemon, we run into some Pokemon. Anyway. We'll just fly there. Oh, oh, oh. So, over to the town of Pallet. Chat to the man, Professor Oak. I forgot his real name. Like, I mean, like, I know his name Oak, but I forgot his first name. I'm not to say. Oh, that's excellent. Collect those gym badges and content. Well done. Well, I was right about my assessment of you. <clears throat> Tell you what, go. I'll make arrangements so that you can get to Mount Silver. Uh, Mount Silver is a big mountain <clears throat> that is home to many wild Pokemon. Too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in your case go. Uh, go to Inco Gato, release myself from there. Why are you gonna rate my Pokéx punch? No. Sure. I'll visit later, man. Alright, everybody. It is about that time to go fight Red. Um, I always get hyped. I always like the fight itself. Uh, I think it's really good. I don't think I need a Pokemon or Flash, if I'm not mistaken. I might. I also know my way around it, so it's not a big deal. But I kind of want to have the full team with me. Because they made all this happen, you know? I can't, I can't leave anybody behind. I need people. Let me save. And everybody, it's time for the final fight of this game. It's time to beat this game. Again. But. We're about to fight the man, the myth. The no-worded legend himself. Pokemon Train Red. After this random Pokemon iteration. Who is this? Who wants, to, who wants to smoke? <laughs> Actually, it's Red's first Pokemon in the manga. 
Oh, wow. Like, this is technically Johto. Um, so like, shout out to Red, he's just been chilling Johto. Like, so, uh, I like how they like close this place off at level 40, you know, like that. That is not, it's not tough. Like, I expected when I first got here that Pokemon would be level like 80 or 70, 60 maybe. I was like, I'm fighting a bunch of level 40, 50 Pokemon. That's not a reason <laughs> close this area off at all. Doesn't make sense. Also, I'm mad about the encounter in the face right now. Can I get to the Pokemon Center, y'all? All right, you know what? No, I was gonna catch you, but I'm not. I just wanna fight right, all right? Sorry about the pause, y'all. I just had to get ready. We're doing game cast today. Silver's Cave? Did they call it that? Oh, I mean, it's Mount Silver. I don't know if they changed the name of it. Interesting. Okay. Got the uh, non-copyrighted version in my head called Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's do this. Everybody, let's do this. Let's get together. Give me your energy. It's time. I need Flash. All right, who wants to go learn Flash real quick? You know, Amphi. Let me tell you something, man. You got to tackle. We ain't gonna need that. Not like you can learn discharge in this game anyway, because it doesn't exist, so we're good. Alright, let's do this, y'all. I got four super repellers. About that time, everybody. It is final fight. I still get chills here in this. I remember losing my mind at two things. One, seeing him in this cave, not expecting to fight at all, and two, level 81 Pikachu. 
What? I think I walked in with like level 50s and I was mad. Thankfully, I had a T Tar that was pretty powerful. That was in the 60s, so it wasn't that horrible. But, oof. Not fun. Uh, who's gonna set up next? You know what? This one? Actually. Makes sense. I was mad in the remake they got rid of Red Dead Beyond. I was like, why? When we get back, I was so sad. I guess you couldn't. Everybody, Johto champion beats the Kanto champion. GG is red. Always a pleasure, my friend. Gotta do that again sometime. Lucha Bear, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. Happy Sunday. Oh, right, y'all, we beat Crystal. We beat Pokemon Crystal. For the first time ever, I beat Crystal. I played Crystal, never finished it, but as a Gen 2 fan, I had to get the last piece of the puzzle. Yeah, we beat it. Um, we finally beat it, just because I had, like, an issue with the... Uh, file I'm using, it got, like, messed up, so. I don't care if I actually beat a Pokemon game. Yeah, we talked about that, Lucha Bear. We gotta, um, I'll send you some recommendations. I think you'll like Gen 1. Um, Gen 2 I prefer more because it has, like, better features and stuff. Um, but we'll show off the team before we wrap up and go say hi to mom and, you know, just reflect on it. But it was a good game. I, I see why people really like Crystal. My beef with Crystal as a kid, um, my favorite Pokemon is Ampharos. So you couldn't get a Mareep in it. So I was like, oh, I'm not playing that. <laughs> you had to trade from gold and silver, and like, I didn't have to. Oh, Iwata. I miss him. Yeah, Iwata did so much work on this. Like, I'm so glad he got the respect. He deserved and earned from this, but he really became a legend due to all of his work. But um, 
he really put a lot of effort into making this happen. Uh, only one I played as a kid was Yellow. Yeah, Yellow, I mean, that makes sense. A lot of people like Yellow for a lot of different reasons. It's based off the anime. It's the only Pokemon game based off the anime. Every other Pokemon game is based off the game adaptation and the mangas. Um, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, Yellow's fun. We, um, I did a Yellow playthrough. I started it for its anniversary. I think it turned, like, 19 or 20. Um, 99. How old is Yellow? Yeah, yeah, turn 20. Yeah, so. Alright, sweet. Uh, if you haven't played, you should check out Pocket Mortis. It's a free mobile that mimics Pokemon, but Pokemon Mortis stuff. I know about it. Um, I haven't played it, but I know about it. But yeah, I've definitely seen people play it. Alright, let's show off the team. Uh, you know what? Actually, we can fly. Let's fly home. We gotta go see Mom. It's a blast if you're a Rick and Morty fan. Nice, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. I'll definitely look into it. Let's say hi to mom. Not about money, not to daylight savings. Just do what you can. Thanks, parent. I appreciate you. All right, we are now home. I'm actually curious of the stuff she bought me. Cause she bought me a lot of stuff. So, dad, did she get anything? What the heck's a feathery dad? Oh, that's right, up. Poster is how I'm at. She says she bought me stuff. Oh, she bought me a Charmander doll. That's cool. She bought me these. Nice. I'm always curious about the items she buys. Because uh, I never check them out. Alright, let's show off the team real quick before we wrap up. So we got my main man, Tyranitar. All shiny. So, this is a shiny hack team. Um, I made this for fun. Just to kind of like... Play around because when I was playing Crystal, I was like, you know what? I really just want to make like a dream team if I had it, like a really cool just super team that I like. Um, so I figured we'd do that. All right, dope. So here's here's what we got. Here's the awesomeness of the team. Um, uh, up time. Oh yeah, it's messed up because uh, Lucha Bear. What happened is uh, I've been live for like two hours, but OBS crashed on me. Don't know, just decided to be like, it. So, <laughs> actually, this stream is like two hours long, but I had to, um, when I upload this to YouTube, it's going to be in two parts. So, this part will be part four? No, this part is going to be part five, aka finale. And then the one before, that was like an hour and a half long, is going to be part four. Um, so, those will be up tomorrow, because I still need to put Saturday's uh, videos up today. So, All right, so here's my buddy Tyranitar. Love him. The homely Blastoids. Um, I like shiny Blastoids a lot. It, it's really like you don't see like a lot of details in it, but I like the color pattern it has. Shiny Typhlosion looks super cool. Um, it has like the little lighter coat. Espeon, which I don't like Espeon shiny in the newer games, but in Gen 2, the right amount of like Emerald it has is perfect. Shiny Dragonite, uh, which I like a lot better than the ugly green it gets. Bring the shiny back. Like, really bring the shiny back, Game Freak. Like, do it. Like, I, I miss the shiny a lot. And the shiny Ampharos, aka my favorite Pokemon in the world, is perfect. I don't like Ampharos' pink shiny. Uh, Typhlosion is sick. Yeah, Typhlosion is the man. I like Typhlosion a lot. I don't like Ampharos' pink shiny, but I do love its, like, nice... Like, it kind of looks pink in this, but it's more, like, silverish. This is the shiny I like. I don't like his new shiny. I've grown to be okay with it, but I kind of wish it was silver or black. That would have been cooler. But that, that, that's just me. All no Afro is still amazing. I didn't show off the move sets, but uh, I'll do that real quick. Alright, so Titar, uh, Crunch, Rock Slide, Sandstorm, and Earthquake. I kept Sandstorm on there just for the hell of it. Uh, I like Tyranitar a lot. I guess, like, while I'm ending, I kind of didn't talk about why I picked all these Pokemon. So I'll do that and then kind of give my thoughts about Crystal. Um, so Tyranitar. I like Tyranitar's design. I think T-Tar is a cool Pokemon. It's super powerful. What up, Jodo Boy? Sorry, I was watching the Pokemon Priority and everyone's called Ethan Gold, Jodo Boy. Nice, what up, Beaky? Yeah, he gets called that a lot. <laughs> um, hope you're doing well. Came in towards the end of the stream. We're about to wrap up, but before we do, I'm just kind of giving like a rundown of like why I picked every Pokemon for my dream team. So, Tyranitar, like him a lot. Looks really cool. Uh, design overall, A+. 
Really powerful too, like just the overall like solid Pokemon Gen 2. Blastoise because uh, I'm more of a Charizard fan, but I like Blastoise, he's my second favorite starter. Um, no, it's okay. Yeah, it's because um, we started early on Sunday because this is Super Bowl. And on top of that, I got to get ready. I got to eat lunch. I got to record Gamecast. Uh, it's the podcast I do with my buddies, Miles and Howard. So we got to go record at uh, 3. So I have like a good over an hour to get ready. But I figure we talk about the Dream Team while I'm here. So yeah, I picked Blastoise because I was going to go with Typhlosion. Meaning that I wasn't going to pick Charmander to have two fire types. So I went with Blastoise instead. And I actually like using Blastoise. It was kind of fun to use him in Gen 2. Uh, he is a good starter. It's just I like Charmander better. Typhlosion is my favorite starter of the Gen 2. Same thing with Charmander and Squirtle. I struggle between him and Feraligatr because I like them both. But I always 95% go Typhlosion uh, doing my runs. And I wanted to use them. Espeon is my favorite evolution. Um, it's a cool psychic type. Back in the day, him and Alakazam were the top like special attackers, right? Here's the deal. If you didn't have a Pokemon or a friend to trade with, um, you couldn't get Alakazam. SBR, you could straight up get in the game without trading. And for me, as someone who just liked Pokemon and didn't really trade with a lot of people, I had to go Espeon. So SB became out go-to psychic, and it is a demon in this gen. Lots of good moves, really like awesome moveset, super underrated Pokemon, just A plus overall. I love SB. Dragonite, what can I say? Um, it, dragons were beasts in Gen 1, and they're not, they're still strong in Gen 2. Um, you know, there's not many of them, but Dragonite's just cool. I think the shiny's dope. I like the purple wings. Um, I've always wanted to use a Dragonite to its fullest potential, because I think it's a super underrated Pokemon. It has like a lot of like good power, even with the newer dragons out there, and I still like it. So I figured I'd use it. And I mean, like, I can keep you here for five hours talking about why I love Ampharos. It's my favorite Pokemon. It's one of the best, if not the best, electric type. Uh, it looks really cool. Shiny is A+. Um, I use this Pokemon in every game possible, except Sword and Shield, because they won't free Ampharos. So yeah. <laughs> I love Amphi. Um, It's really cool. When I was making the team, Amphi was the first member I picked, aside from Typhlosion. Like, there was no way in hell I was going to make a dream team without my dream Pokemon. Um, I just love Ampharos so much. Uh, I have Ampharos all over my house. I have two plushies. I have the Pokemon cards. Um, damn near about... I have a poster of him. Um, he's just a cool Pokemon. Like, I like him. Um, I feel like every fan of Gen 2 uses Mareep in some way. But for me, like, there is no dream team without Ampharos. It's, it's got to put it out there. And that's kind of why I picked him. Um, overall, let me talk about Crystal real quick. This is right at the end. I like Crystal. Um... I wasn't the biggest fan of Crystal because I felt as though, well, third versions of Pokemon are cool, but I tend to like speed through them because I already played Gold and Silver. And a lot of people were calling this like the greatest game of all time. And for me, I'm like, I still pick Gold as my favorite Pokemon game, but I do appreciate why people like Crystal. The Battle Tower is really dope. Um, we haven't checked that out just because this was a casual playthrough. So I didn't want to check out the Battle Tower personally but the battle tower editions were cool it was super dope to get a female protagonist i know that was super good not just for representation but for women that love pokemon to see themselves represented in a game which was really cool uh chris is a cool character as well as gold um so like i enjoyed um seeing people play as her and just her different sprites and stuff was really cool overall um i see why people like crystal I personally still like Gold, but I'm super glad that I got a chance to play Crystal because it did add some new stuff. It gave Suicune a bigger story. Um, it made some interesting things with the Legendary Beast. Um, you got to see a lot more. Um, I could have done a Celebi event, but I'll probably do that off stream because uh, I've, I've seen that before too. It's, it's special, but it's not like the biggest thing. Um, you missed the Battle Frontier, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, they may bring it back because Gen 4 remakes are coming up. So, they might bring back, um, like, the battle area they had in Gen 4 with the Battle Frontier brains. And if so, I would love to do that because I actually never did it. Um, so, yeah, that could happen. So, we'll see. All right, friends. I'm going to go because my stomach is growling to a point you could probably hear it on stream and in my mic at this point. I'm not hungry, but... 
I just want to thank everybody for being here, for hanging out. Um, bit of an earlier stream today. Sorry for my Spelunky fans. I really had to finish Crystal because it was the last thing on my backlog. And now there's nothing on my backlog, which is A+. I have no games I need to finish. Um, aside from potential Sonic games <laughs> that I might be playing soon. But this was a lot of fun. Um, to everybody watching the Super Bowl, I hope you have a good time. Stay safe. Socially distanced. Um, hopefully it's a good game. And hopefully the team you want wins will win. Um, so that'll be it. But... We'll be back tomorrow. Um, I'm thinking tomorrow I'll be back with some more Super Nintendo retro games. Uh, there's a couple of retro games, some Marvel beat em ups I want to play. Um, we might be able to just, you know, just kind of casually hang out, do another casual stream. So we'll do that. And then I'm thinking on Tuesday, I'll be back with some more Marvel superheroes because I really want to play that. Um, I kind of want to play a Psylocke to get some training in. Uh, maybe we'll do some Marvel 2 as well. Who knows? Uh, Wednesday will be a day off. Thursday, we'll probably be back with some more retro games. Maybe we might start Sonic Heroes, because I've been meaning to do that. Um, we also need to play some Melee. I've been getting kind of back into Melee a bit, so I might be playing that, as well as maybe some Ultimate. Maybe we'll do that Friday. And then Saturday might be another co-stream. We'll see what Gamecast is going to do. And then Sunday, we will be back with Spooky. Um, so that will definitely be happening. So I'm going to go end it here. But I do want to thank everybody for hanging out watching Pokemon Crystal. Checking out this awesome game. Uh, hopefully, I convince some people if you never play Pokemon to play it. Um, I do like, well, scratch that. I love Gen 2. So, you know, I would probably recommend Gen 2 over everything. Uh, Friday Night Smash sounds dope. I'm so down. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. Uh, the schedule kind of changes just depending on what games I play. But if we have that and I do an open lobby, um, I'll let people know in Discord a couple of days in advance so they can get ready and uh, have the schedule set. So, yeah, we're going to get ready to end it here. I'm going to go because I got to go for a game cast uh, with the crew at 3 o'clock. So I'm going to go eat some food, do that, and then basically just get ready for the rest of the day. Um, but thanks for hanging out. We're going to drop a host on somebody because I like to send my community over to peeps to hang out. So uh, my buddy Ash um, said hi is, let me uh, backslash real quick. So, my buddy Ash says hi, is playing some retro games. I think she's playing some Golden Axe. Yeah, she's doing Sega Sundays. I like that. Good title. Um, she's playing some Sega Sundays. So she's playing some Golden Axe. So, let's send some love over to Ashley. Hang out. Uh, join her awesome community. She's a really talented streamer. So, I'm going to send the host over. But, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow, everybody. It's been a really, really awesome and busy week just with streams and stuff. So we'll wrap up here, but I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care. Peace.